when the woman saw that she could not escape notice. She came trembling and fell down before Jesus. In the presence of all the people, she explained why she had touched him and how she had been immediately healed. The Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 8, verse 47. Tonight we have one of the most touching and teaching of the Saviour's miracles laid before us. This woman was very ignorant, imagining as she did that virtue came out of Christ by a law of necessity without his knowledge or direct will. Furthermore, she was a stranger to the generosity of his perfect character or she would not have gone behind to steal the cure which he was truly so ready to bestow upon her. Misery should always place itself right in the face of mercy. Had she known the love of the heart of Jesus, she would surely have said, I have only to put myself where he can see me, and his omniscience will teach him my case and his love at once will cure me. Indeed, we should admire her faith, but we marvel also at her ignorance. But after she had obtained the cure, she rejoiced with trembling, glad that the divine virtue had wrought a marvel in her. But she feared lest Christ retract his blessing and put a negative upon the grant of his grace. How little she understood the fullness of his love. We perhaps do not have so clear a view of him as we might wish. We do not know the heights and depths of his love, nor could we even begin to understand them. But we know of a surety that he is too good to withdraw from a trembling soul the gift which it has been able to obtain. But here is the marvel we see tonight. Little as her knowledge may have been her faith, because it was real faith saved her, and it saved her immediately. There was no tedious delay, for the miracle was instantaneous. If only we have faith like a grain of mustard seed, salvation is our present and eternal possession. If in the list of the Lord's children we are written as the feeblest of the family, yet being heirs through faith no power, human or evil, can eject us from salvation. If we dare not lean our heads upon his bosom with John, yet if we can venture into the crowd behind him and merely touch the hem of his garment, we will be made whole. So take courage, timid one. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Amen. <laughs>